tell us what you found. So we looked at it 12 months later after we did it for the first time. Mr. Trump's uh, net worth has gone up $3 billion. It's gone up to it, $3 billion. It, yeah, excuse me, to yeah. $3 billion, um, uh, which is less than the $10 billion that he claims. Um, but uh, that's, that's what we can account for. But how confident are you in these numbers? Because there's a fair amount of appraisal and estimation, right? A, absolutely. You'll never know what a building's actually going to go for until it actually sells. And for some of Trump's uh, assets, whether it's uh, Doral or Mar-a-Lago, these sort of trophy resort properties, you could expect that maybe somebody would pay a healthy premium above the revenue those businesses are generating uh, just for the sake of owning them. But in terms of a, a numbers basis, a finances basis. Uh, we, we, we feel pretty confident about the range we're in. So you went through property by property and how did you get your numbers? Uh, yeah, so uh, for a lot of his properties, uh, figures are disclosed, uh, like for the golf properties for instance, he discloses top line revenue for those uh, in his federal election disclosures uh, uh, to run for president. And then there's other things like uh, Trump Tower and 40 Wall Street in Nike Town for which uh, there's uh, mortgage agreements out uh, that include a lot of uh, the building's finances that allow us to, to hone in pretty exactly to, to, to what they're worth. Uh, interesting. Now, at the same time that his property is worth more, He's also borrowed a fair amount. Yeah. Tell so, us about that. Yeah, so he has a, a new $170 million uh, loan out against uh, the new hotel he's building in Washington, D.C. Uh, uh, he's renovating the old post office there. It's a few blocks from uh, the White House, and it's expected to open uh, in time uh, for the election in November. Uh, and he's also uh, sold some things. Yeah, so uh, just by tracking all of the stocks and bonds he has also disclosed in uh, those filings to the government, we can see that uh, he he sold um, uh, about $50 million worth of stocks and bonds over the course of the last year. In looking at his balance sheet, do you get a sense of how much uh, liquidity he has? And I'm thinking about that particularly insofar as he needs to help fund his own campaign. Right. How much cash can he reach quickly? Uh, so he probably has, uh, using the high end of the disclosed ranges in, in those disclosures to the government, about $170 million, uh, of assets that he could liquidate immediately. He also, of course, uh, could take out further loans or mortgage against the unlevered parts of his properties that he has also. How, how much do other people estimate? I mean, we've got you at three. Sure. We've got Donald Trump at over 10. Yeah. He's, okay. Who, who else is in there estimating and where do they come out? Where, how do you compare to the range? So uh, we have uh, Fortune magazine at 3.9 and we have uh, Forbes magazine at 4.5. So again, healthy variance between those three valuations certainly, but all of those numbers are much closer to each other than any one of them is uh, to 10 billion. So, so Caleb, on any measurement, this is a wealthy individual. Yeah, absolutely. It's $3 billion is nothing a lot to, of money. To, to, to ignore. Um, why does it matter uh, whether it's $3 billion or $10 billion? It's, it's interesting. We, we at the Bloomberg Billionaires Index uh, cover a lot of billionaires and assess, assess their fortunes. Uh, Donald Trump is uh, almost singular uh, in uh, his, uh, his claims of wealth that are greater than the ones that are estimated. And it, it's because it's part of his story as a candidate and as a businessman that uh, I'm wealthy and it is proof of my success. And um, so, so the number is very important to him. From your work, from your reporting, can you get any sense about whether the wealth uh, has gone up because of his candidacy, particularly the value of some of these properties, because he is more prominent than he was before? Uh, in almost all cases, no. We're talking about market shifts. So uh, you, uh, luxury residential real estate in New York and office uh, real estate in New York and San Francisco are down, um, whereas revenue at his golf courses is up. And perhaps that's driven by people wanting to play at Trump golf courses. Um, uh, but in most cases, uh, this, is, this is really about just the underlying uh, fundamentals of these businesses.